Hello, you wonderful people. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Canva has rolled out some incredible new AI features that you absolutely need to know about. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use these new Canva AI features to create Instagram content faster and easier than ever. So you can save hours every week without sacrificing the quality of your content. Let's dive in. Now, the first feature I want to talk about is you can create images with Canva AI. So a huge hurdle we hear from our clients and our community overall is that there is not enough content to work with in order to stay consistent. So you can use Canva to create images for your business that you can immediately just drop in a design, which means you technically don't need to even go to chat GPT or other AI tools. You can do everything you need right inside of Canva. So let me jump in and show you how. So you'll see on the Canva homepage that there is this Canva AI and a little new button there because it's a newer feature. And then there's a little Canva AI on the left hand side here. So all you actually need to do is just prompt to get the right kind of image. So you just want to make sure that you're describing what you need. So you can either do something realistic, which, you know, we recommend if you're trying to kind of replace stock photography in a way, or you could do one that's intended to look like some form of graphic or illustration. So say I wanted to make an Instagram story and I'm going to take one of our members for an example of this. So one of the members in our YouTube membership channel, she works with a client who provides cleaning services and we did these post make for that industry. So I'm just going to pretend that I have a cleaning business for this example. And by the way, if you want to learn more about our membership channel, link is in the description box below. But let's pretend I have a cleaning service business here. So I'm going to prompt a photo of a person cleaning a kitchen counter hands only. I'm actually saying hands only because I still don't really love all the faces and stuff of AI. So sometimes they can be great and stuff, but like, you know, you don't always need the full face. Honestly, just like that's when you just hire humans because I don't feel like it's 100% there. There's still a voidness. But anyways, that's a longer story. But I'm just going to say hands only for this because that's doing pretty well. And I'm going to say that I want this for a cleaning services. Cleaning services company. And then I'm going to hit, oh, what I love about this too. So I'm going to hit create an image, but what you'll see, you can actually choose your style here. And I'm going to go with bokeh because that's super pretty. It just means it has like a blur in the background, but you'll see there's so many options here, like stock photos, etc. like endless options. And then I'm going to click the ratio that I want, which is nine by 16, because that's a story and we will let it create for us. So we have a few options that they gave us. And honestly, these all look really good. Honestly, even the guy I was just saying, like, I don't know about faces, but honestly, that guy looks pretty good too. But all of these photo options that, oh, wait, this one's kind of weird because like, see AI guys, that's why you also have to prompt. So she's not looking too great, but these ones are. So say for example, I wanted to use this one. What's also cool about this is that you can go in and make adjustments so you can change something. So if I didn't like something about this photo, like make it a yellow cloth, for example, I could just do that so that they would update the image for me. And now you see she's using a yellow cloth instead. But my favorite was the blue, so I'm going to open with the blue. Another thing that's interesting is that you can also upscale the image to make it a higher resolution. So that's going to be great when you're making a design because you want to use the highest resolution that you can. So I'm going to upscale the image so that way I get something higher quality. And now we see the resolution has been upgraded to 1664 by 2944. So we've upscaled and have a higher quality image. And then I have the option now to just open it in editor. So I could actually either copy the image or I can open it in editor. For this one, I'm just going to open it in the editor and then I'm going to make a second page and just bring this into the design for my fake business. So if we go to design, I'm going to type in cleaning service. And then choose a template that I like for this cleaning service. That one's pretty good. Okay, I'll try not to be too picky here, guys, because, you know, I can get I can get into the design, but this is just illustrative purposes. Spring cleaning sale. That's pretty cool. 
I like this one. So there you go. It's actually kind of similar to what I was able to design using AI. And then I'm just going to take this image. I'm going to copy it, paste it here and I'll replace the background. And there I have my incredible design easily made. I would just need to honestly just add my number to this if I was super happy with the design and add my website. So that is the ability to create images and you could also just copy and paste them right from this AI image section. And one thing I also want to point out is that they expand the prompt for you. So you can use that prompt again if you're super happy with something or adjust it accordingly based on the beautiful expanded prompt that they gave you to adjust the image. Now, another new Canva AI feature that I'm really loving is their background generator. And I've already used this a few times. So this is the ability to change the background of any image, which is separate from being able to remove a background, which they've always been known to be able to do incredibly. Now you can remove the background, but actually generate a new one in its place. So this is great for anyone who wants to level up any kind of photo. So from product shots to photos of people, like say you have a personal brand and you just want to change the background of where you took a photo, not to mention just all the opportunities to get super creative and dynamic. And I used this for a client the other day who had headshots that were like a little low res and in a plain like green background. So we actually increased the res using Canva's upscale tool. And then we swapped out the background with like a professional setting. So for example, I just pulled up a coffee image here that we have. I could change the background of this image and I'm still, I'm doing it in the same file as we were before, but you would just hit edit, head over to background generator. And then I could say a beautiful beach scene with lots of sun because it's a nice coffee. And then we'll hit generate and that's going to get to work. And there we have it, a beautiful beach scene as requested with our iced coffee. And another very cool thing is that you can match the subject. So this is another amazing part of the AI where they'll adjust the lighting on the actual cup to better fit the imagery. So you can see you could do balance relight. So it's changing the lighting subtly to kind of match or you could do a maximum relight which really blends it in to make it feel like the image was taken right there it's a very cool feature that they have and i also want to show you how you could do this say for example with a photo of somebody too so say we had somebody just working i'm just going to type in like working because you had like a professional shot that you wanted to change she yeah let's go with her so I'm just going to set this image as the background so we can expand it a little bit. Actually, you know what I'm going to do, which is another new feature that you should know about. I'm going to change the size of this because I really want you to see like the full expansion of it. And this new feature from Canva means that you can now put in different sizes. This is a bonus one I'm talking about. You can now add multi page designs to your single design. So before, for example, if you were editing a reel, everything that was nine by 16 vertical had to stay in that one page. And if you wanted to do like a square and repurpose it, you would have to open a whole new design. Now you can add multiple pages. So for example, I'm just going to make this a Facebook post so that I can bring the image over here. And then I'm going to set image as background. And then I'm going to do edit background generator. Uh, and I'm going to say that this is a coffee shop. Obviously coffee is the theme of my life. Coffee shop with beautiful plants and wood. And while that's generating, just in case you didn't catch it, the multi-page feature is so beneficial because now you could repurpose your designs. If you think about it, if you create a reel and you want to turn that reel into a carousel, you could do that in the exact same design. Cause you can see now that I have multiple pages here. So here we go. They have given me some options here to work with. For example, that is a beautiful background. I said, I wanted lots of plants. So I guess <laughs> it really gave me a lot of plants and that feature that I mentioned where you could do the balance relight so that you fit in a little nicer. That is like such a cool, cool background that you can make. I could also make her in a living room, for example, to make it something that's a little more casual if I wanted her to be inside of just a living room. And there you see, they've given us options again. 
a ton of great options and I have the ability to balance and relight to make it feel better. How amazing is that? So if you have like a personal brand, you just want to take, you don't have like a setting that you like in the background. You want to just take a photo or a headshot on like a white background. You could just do that and then have Canva swap in the background for you. That is so convenient. I tell you like that is one of my favorite features that they've introduced. And in case you weren't aware, background generation isn't the only tool in the section. You can also isolate and adjust certain parts of images using the magic studio so you can consider canva honestly to be like a full photo editor and then magic grab is also something really cool that they do you can grab text you can grab an image and you can move it around there's so many cool features that canva has now now, another amazing feature with Canva AI that you should know about is their design. So of course, Canva's templates are amazing. So these are always available for you to select from, but you can also use AI to create designs for you. So in order to do this, you would just head back to that same Canva AI screen. The only difference is now you're going to say design for me. And then I'm going to make this, I know I keep saying a story, I'm just doing an Instagram story again. I'm uploading my image of my iced coffee for my cafe and then I'm asking it, use this photo of coffee to promote my 20% off summer promo offer. That's it. Hit next and let it do its thing. Okay, so you see it came up with a few assets, uh, four actually. And all of them have my coffee in different places, but these are literal stories that have been created with copy, text, and design. And I did nothing except just ask it to do the thing. So say I decided to go with this one, for example, I could just open this now in Canva editor and apply my brand colors. So for example, for training in our membership channel, we have a fake high season cafe. So I already have my brand kit here. If you don't have a brand kit, I walk through how you can do this in this video here. So definitely check that out. It's all about how you can create a consistent brand with Canva, but you'll see, I'm just going to my brand kit now and I could just shuffle the colors to match with my brand. And then I have my story. How simple is that? Oh, and one thing too, if you're wondering which features that I'm using right now are Canva Pro features, everything that is a Canva Pro feature will have a little crown beside it, like you see there. So honestly, if you don't have Canva Pro, it is so worth the investment if you are creating assets. It's easily one of the top three investments that we have made. We have a designer even for our clients and we still use Canva and pay for Canva so that we can all do things without the designer say, and even the designer uses it. So I highly recommend that you look into getting Canva Pro so you can take advantage of all these features and we have a link below so that you can test it out. Now, another Canva AI feature that you should know about is their AI voiceover. We are in the future. So of course, voiceovers have been popular for a very long time, but now you can directly create them in Canva. So I'm back on the home page here and what I'm going to do is actually create a reel. So I'm just going to make it like a day in the life vlog, for example, because I just want to give you a video to uh, oh, look, see, they already have a barista doing something for me, but I'm going to try something else. So I'm going to open this template here. I just basically typed in a day in the life vlog. As we always mentioned, Canva has a ton of templates. Let's use this one actually. And then I'm just going to do customize this template. And then I'm going to navigate over to the left hand side here. I'm going to select AI voice. So you will see that they have four individuals here now that you can use a voice from. And then all you do is enter your text and the voiceover will read that for you. Now they sound super AI, I'll let you know. So this style wouldn't be intended to sound like a real person. There are other apps for that really. But what this would be like is to kind of fit that TikTok style voiceover that people get accustomed to where it's like, you know that it's fake, but it's telling the story and that's what people are interested in. So if we want to create an AI voice over here, for example, um, follow me for a day in the life of a fashion lifestyle influencer. So I hit generate AI voice and then you can see the voiceover has come there now and then let's hit play. There you go. So I could script something. I could actually script something in full. And then if I wasn't comfortable doing a voiceover of my own, I could just type that text in, 
and then use the AI voice in order to do it. So that is another very interesting feature and I'm very curious to see how it evolves as well. But if you like that cool like, oh, automated type voice style voiceovers, this is a perfect place to do it. Now, another Canva AI feature that you need to know about is the ability to animate captions finally now this is a long awaited feature with canva honestly because everybody knows canva slays and it just seemed weird that you weren't able to do like your reel from beginning to end it's really about time so not only can you edit your reels fully in canva which i broke down on how to do here but you can also caption them in canva and animate them so all you would need to do is upload your video so i'll just find a video of me talking here that's like fairly short for this yeah, here you go. Of course, I'm going to just set the video as a background so it expands out. And then you hit text and you'll see captions come up here. And then you generate the captions. So again, of course, it's using its AI in order to generate the captions. And then when you select the captions, you can hit animate and choose to do it in whichever way you want the captions to look so they have a few options there but the fact that you're able to do this now so edit your reel so say i just do highlight which is like a pretty common one and say i want to do it in one of my brand colors for example look how easy that was and now i've added captions to my video so long overdue and that's it. Those are the new Canva AI design features that will make creating Instagram content so much easier. I have a full playlist that can help you create better looking Instagram content faster with Canva. So I definitely recommend you check it out. I'm going to leave it up here for you. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below. Let me know anything else you want to see. I'm thinking about even doing like a full Canva full tutorial. I just don't know if people would be interested in it, but I think it's valuable. So I probably will make it but let me know if that's something that could be interesting for you just like a beginning to end tutorial on like the best practices around using canva thank you so much for coming back to watch another video i will see you in the next one likely with craig next time around take care and check out that playlist next bye